All right, December 7th, 2022, it's Pearl Harbor Day, Remembrance Day, 1941, December 7th. There was a sneak attack by the evil Japanese on Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. No one saw it coming. Just like no one saw 9-11 coming. Just like no one saw January 6th coming. What do those three things have in common? Somebody within government saw them all coming because they they needed an event. They need an event to galvanize people with. That's what they do. See, in the background, they go along with their, their little playbook and all the things that they do, all the naughty things that they do, and they all do it together. It's like WWE. Hey, we're going to put on a performance out here on the Congress, uh, congressional floor, the House floor, Senate floor, at the podium at the White House, if it is the White House. And we're going to talk all this, oh, for the American people, blah, 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 blah. We're going to do all this, going to do all that, da, 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 da. And then behind the scenes, they all uh, go eyes wide shut on you. They have their little cocktail parties and they party and together and do all the nasty things that they don't want you to know about because they're part of the club. See, it's okay for them to do that. Once in a while, though, it does leak out and people are like, that really happened? Yes, it really happened. And it's, don't think that these things don't happen. They've happened throughout history with the uh, elite or the ruling class. I just don't want you to know about it because they need you to get out there and work and provide and do everything that needs to be done to make all this, you know, uh, all these comforts and luxuries that they have come to fruition. Oh goodness. Yeah. It's, it's a big, it's a big scam. I see that we had uh, warlock got reelected. I mean, I don't even, these elections, I mean, how bad of a candidate do you have to run for this warlock to win the Senate seat in, in Georgia. Pretty bad. Herschel Walker. I mean, if, honestly, if Herschel Walker had won, I don't know if the Senate could handle it. John Fetterman and Herschel Walker in the Senate. Wow. Two sides of the same coin. Unbelievable. I, it just, I mean, this is the best and brightest we have. These, these, these are the leaders of America. These are the ones calling the shots. These are the ones taking your money. These are the ones. Unbelievable. Yeah, we're done. Pretty much done. We got people like that. But um, no, to go back to the Pearl Harbor day. I mean, they, but Roosevelt wanted to get us into war and the people didn't want to go to war. Said, we don't want to fight Germany. We don't want to do this. And then, you know, you've got the Japanese that Oh, a lot of shenanigans were going on in Southeast Asia, cutting off oil supplies. And anyway, they were being coaxed into war. And they got their wish, the powers that be. And then they could say, oh, day that will live in infamy. And oh, we need to fight these evil Japanese and the axis of power. We need to stop them. Same with 9 11. Oh my gosh, planes hit the towers and melted steel. Unbelievable. We never saw this coming. Meanwhile, it pancake, pancakes down, building seven blows up for no reason, and a controlled demolition, which takes how long to set up? Not a few hours, probably weeks, week at least. So anyway, that was all ready to go. Just pull it. Larry Silverstein says, pull it, pull it. Ah, too much damage. That pull it. Ah, it's insured. Pull it. That's uh, that's where you're at. And then the whole January 6th thing. What a joke. I mean, they're saying, oh, it's an insurrection. As people are walking down the halls, looking. Oh, yeah. Come on. If it's an insurrection from the people, you're going to know it. So, anyway, on this day, December 7th, let's, you know, not forget the people who died, you know, and who were sacrificed, really, on this day in 1941. Let's hope that, uh, let's hope that enough people wake up so that uh, there's no more sacrifices. Because we're tired of sacrificing to their God. Think Balenciaga, okay? Then you'll know. Anyway, um, I see that Zelensky has been, I just saw this, maybe I, I haven't confirmed it. I saw on a news report, you know, who knows, all the news is fake, but it doesn't matter. Zelensky's named Times Person of the Year. He used to be Man of the Year. Now it's Person of the Year because we don't know if it's a male or female anymore. You know, we just, uh, I'm telling you, I watched the, uh, a part of it. 
the People's Choice Awards. You know, it's our, our decision, our choice, you know, all these people. And the Kardashians were in the audience. Uh, there was some other actress, oh, from uh, Days of Our Lives, I think it is. I can't remember the gal's name. I think it was Days of Our Lives. Anyway, I mean, they don't even look like the same people. And then Shania Twain, who, man, I'll tell you what, in the 90s, woo, I listen to that music all day long. Um, but Shania Twain gave a performance to the last night. They're all oh, Shania, oh, Shania. Of course, lip syncing the whole thing. I can't stand that. They don't sing it live. But she, I didn't recognize her. I didn't know who it was because I tuned in late. You know, I happened to flip through the channel and then there she's standing there. I'm like, who is this in like the sparkly leotard thing and, you know, all puffed up. And it was Shania Twain. I'm like, what? So I had to rewind it and like see the performance everybody's talking about. And uh, I don't know, man. Sometimes you just got to let nature take its course and grow old gracefully. I mean, it's like loving plastic. I'm a Barbie girl. You know, it's just like, uh, I don't know. Looked weird. Go look at Shania Twain. Wouldn't recognize her from the 90s, 2000s. Anyway, none of that garbage. But the, the point is, you know, it's a bunch of Hollywood people who are, I mean, they look like fake people. They don't even look like the same people anymore. I mean, just like, oh my gosh, that's really her? I can't remember. There's another actress where I saw her and I'm like, huh? Really? Don't even look like her. I mean, but I guess when you can alter all your features and do well, whatever, it's what you do and you got the money. Me, I don't care. I'm just going to grow old and get ugly. That's just how it is. Doesn't matter. Teeth falling out. Things sagging everywhere. I mean, there's things you can do about it, but it's just like, there's a chapter for everything in life. You know, there's a season for everything. And you know, when you can't accept that, I mean, I get it. We all get old and eh, not so good looking. You know, we hearken back and think, hey, I used to look, I used to be able to do this. I used to blah, blah, blah. I used to be able to lift this much weight. Yeah, and you know what, it, does that really matter? Does it? It just gives you an opportunity to say, okay, physically, I can't do what I used to do. And that's okay. It's okay. That's for the next generation of young, strapping, you know, young men to do. It's just, in the, you know, in the young, beautiful ladies of today. It doesn't mean you're not beautiful. It doesn't mean you don't have, you know, other talents. And you're, but I mean, if you dwell on just the appearance, I mean, it's like you're going to lose because eventually you're just going to turn to dust anyway. And then what difference does it make? But it should give you an opportunity to do something else, pursue something else, get engaged in something else. It's like, well, I don't have my looks anymore, or I don't have my strength anymore, or I don't have my athleticism anymore, but I can contribute in another way. The people who can't make that adjustment are the people who live miserable lives because, oh, man, and they talk about high school stories. Oh, yeah, back when I was in high school, when, oh, when I did this, I did that. You know, no, I scored 10 touchdowns in a single game. The Al Bundy stuff, whatever it was. <laughs> I don't know if four touchdowns in a single game. I don't know what it was. But you have those types of, you know, it's like, why, why are you living in the past all the time? Just do something today and be grateful for what you can contribute today. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not going to preach on it, but it's just, you got to let that stuff go and realize that there's a change for everything. We're almost in winter time here and it's going to get a lot colder and we're going to have snow on the ground. But then I, you appreciate the spring. I do. And the sun gets warmer. The days get longer and, and, you know, things start to green up and you appreciate it because you went through that winter and the spring is just, oh yes. And then the summer, oh, it's so warm. And it's like, okay, this is too hot. It needs to cool off. And then you appreciate fall. And I like the seasons. I don't have a problem with seasons. We all go through our seasons. We all peak. And then we kind of go into the fall. And then there's winter. But there's rebirth in, in other ways. And you just got to seek out those ways. All right, not going to preach on that so much. But Zelensky, person of the year, you've got to be kidding me. Grifter of the year, maybe. 
I mean, you go through history. I think Hitler was man of the year at one, at one point. Well, back when they called it man of the year. I'm pretty sure he was. I mean, but you look at the people who have been selected by Time Magazine and you think, huh, I don't know. We'll see how it turns out, I guess. History will be the judge. Um, yeah, speaking of which, um, the missile was launched into Russia. I don't know. I saw something like 700 kilometers into Russia. It, you know, past the border, Russian border into Russia. I don't know if it was that far, but a missile was launched into Russia. See, here we are poking the bear again. And and then I heard that the U.S. denied that a drone had struck, you know, that was responsible for it. And I'm like, why would the U.S. have to even deny that? It's like, oh, we didn't blow up that pipeline, Nord Stream. I don't know what you're talking about. We didn't launch a missile into Russia. Pfft, come on, why would we do that to escalate a war even further so we can make more trillions? <laughs> Traffic more things. Why would we do something like that? It was probably a U.S. made weapon, you know, launched by Ukraine or one of the other rogue countries that is now is now in possession of these weapons on the black market, which is what is happening. But see, that's how you escalate war and create terrorists. See, all terrorists, and my, I'm, I'm, this is my theory, all terrorists are state-sponsored. I mean, once in a while, you might have a lone gunman or that, but I, even then, I think there's an element, if you look at the doctors and what of these people who have been involved in these school shootings, look at their physician, look at their psychiatrist or, you know, the, whatever doctor is prescribing the medicine, and then see if they have any ties to any kind of agencies, I think if you did some investigation into that, you'd find, oh, that's interesting. Mm, look at that connection. See, all these things are connected because there's so much money. And they continue to just uh, fund all these dirty operations. And, you know, they want to profit off you, too. But, um, yeah, I'm, I think most terrorism, almost all terrorism is state-sponsored. You can tie it back to the money and the um, engineering that the uh, the state has done, and by the state I mean a country. Yeah, that's what's sponsoring terrorism. So when you could dump a bunch of weapons in this Ukraine situation, where it's chaos, where do you think the weapons are going to go? It's like, oh, there's going to be billions of dollars worth of guns in crates. Let's uh, let's profit from this. Hey, anybody in Africa need any of these? Any pirates down there that need to, you know, have some guns to take on your boats? Anybody in uh, factions anywhere in the world need some of these? I mean, come on, man. It's like dumping cash in Iran. Hey, here's some pallets full of cash while I'm going out the door. Yeah, do with what you want. Just use it for whatever you want. But that is what your government does. Because it has unlimited money. Can't stop it. And, and what's it do? What's what's it create for you? Look at Philadelphia. Rick Win Philly um, on Twitter. Um, good dude. He uh, posted something on Twitter. He's from the Philadelphia area, and he showed that there's a, a local news write-up article story that um, a gas station, the owner of a gas station there, had had enough. Things are getting stolen. I mean, you know, you see these people that just come in and take stuff and run out, walk out, and what do you do to stop them? I mean, what are you going to do, shoot somebody in the back because they're leaving with some